this is Riku Keyblade Master back once again with my Kingdom Hearts Funny Moments segment. This will be number two. Now, I'm definitely going to bring you ten more funny moments, or five depending, but let's just jump into this. <laughs> number ten, do you guys remember when I said about Goofy getting hit in the foot? Well, this time, um, basically, this next funny moment would be when, I mean, come on, Atlantica, when they turn into those flipping creatures, you know, Donald turns into an octopus, Goofy turns into a turtle, and Sora turns into a dolphin. Okay, now, if that's not funny, I don't know what is. I mean, the first time, that goes from, that goes to Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, by the way. Um, because, you know, both segments with Atlantica. Who, who here thinks that that was pretty hilarious when they first saw it? I, I did, because I was like, what are they going to do? And next thing you know, boom. Sora turns into a dolphin. Goofy turns into an octopus, or a squid, whatever you want to call it, but just without the squid head, and, or octopus head, or, uh, you know, Goofy turning into a turtle. Now, it's not the first time that, um, animal transformations are on this list. Uh... I'm just going to put this into one, okay? Going into Lion King, Sora, you know, turns into a lion. Goofy turns into a turtle. Donald turns into a bird. Okay, yeah. Animal transformations take the number 10 spot. You get the idea. The second moment, or moment number 9, goes to when... Sora is in Halloween Town in Kingdom Hearts 2, and Jack mentions something about he has to be off, he has to go get Santa Claus right away, and then Santa's like, or Sora's like, go get Santa Claus, and then he's just like this, until Jack mentions the heart, it's like the, the face that Sora makes. Like, are you serious? You know? That was just like, that's just really funny right there, for one. And, literally, that takes the, um, that takes the number nine spot, Sora's Santa Claus face. Which leads me to number eight. That also belongs to Kingdom Hearts 2. And they go into Christmas Town. And it, this is, like, really funny because Jack, because everybody's like, hey, you know, giving them their names. And Sora goes up and says, uh, Sora, sir. And then Santa goes, well, according to my list, you have told everyone seven years ago that you did not believe in Santa Claus. And Sora just does this. Ah. I mean, seriously, that face. Oh my god. But, anyway, on to number seven. Number seven actually goes to a moment in Dream Drop Distance. When Neku runs into an invisible wall and just gets knocked back. Like, okay, I know, I know it doesn't sound funny, but it, it, it kind of is. Because, like, don't run into shit without even thinking. Then all of a sudden, blah! Anyways, yeah, like, it's, like, so weird because, you know, you just, just don't run into shit without thinking, dude. 
Number six also goes from, also comes from Dream Drop Distance. When Sora is in the Symphony of Sorcery world, it looks exactly like the Incense Tower, so he automatically assumes he's there until he sees Mickey. He's like, wait, wait, wait. Am I back in Jensen's tower? Something seems off, though. But how he got there was actually pretty funny, too. Um, he gets bumped into the head by Spelican. Oh, my God. That, that, that was pretty hilarious. Like, he didn't even see that coming. It was just like, bonk! <laughs> Anyway, we're down to the top five. Number five has to be in Kingdom Hearts 2 when you start out the game as Sora. And you guys know where I'm going with this. His clothes are way too small on him. Like, he got taller. And he's just a munchkin. His clothes are just munchkin clothes now. What? The hell? <laughs> you know? And Goofy even quotes this. Poor Sora, you sure are growing fast. Poor Sora, you must have grown. <laughs> and Yen said literally states this himself as well. Before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. And Sora's just like, after, you know, Donald and Goofy commenting on him growing, he says, Kinda, I guess. And that leads me to number four, which also comes from Kingdom Hearts 2. The fight with the three good fairies trying to come up with Sora's new outfit. Red, green, blue. Don't you like this better? Oh, come on now, dears. Then red, and then, you know, they can't decide until they finally do. And it's just funny watching Sora change into all these different outfits. And, you know, I guess it kind of foreshadows to the different drive forms. But, nevertheless, it's, it's pretty hilarious watching them go... And then Sora's just like, Ugh, would you just decide? Anyways, now we are down to number two. Now, number two is also from, um... I guess you could say that there is kind of a funny moment in, um, Recoded, I guess, I kind of wanted to address here. Um, it, it, it kind of comes from when Goofy decides to, you know, spin around and help Sora with the Heartless or whatever, and then he, and then Goofy gets dizzy. But on top of all that, he says to Sora, he says, How come you left? The king wanted us all to stay put back in the library. You shouldn't run off on your own. And then Sora just assumes that they're going back, and then Goofy's like, It's this way, silly! Like, you would think, you, at that moment, you think, Hey, you know, Goofy wants to go back, so you should go back. And you guys would think that they'd be taking us back to the library. Nope. Nope. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so let's just jump into number one. Number one has to be, it also comes from the coded, the, um, the funniest moment in Recoded, honestly, was Sora 
Laura and Riku's apology argument. They cut this out in the HD scenes. Well, they didn't cut it out completely, but they, um, you know, it's, it's a toss-up between Sora and Riku's apology argument and don't think I'm not going to remember that when I'm taller than you. So, let me go over the apology argument. Basically, the apology argument, if you guys have not played Recoded, is, uh, Riku's constantly apologizing, and Sora's like, okay, stop, 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 dude, are we friends or not? Seriously, quit apologizing. <laughs> oh my god. I swear, I put this moment on the list because Riku reminds me of me. Like, I legit apologize way too much for my own good, and so does he. Seriously, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, and then the next moment, actually there's three I should mention here that are kind of a tie. Um, next moment from Recoded was when they, uh, oh shoot, what was it? It covered the apology argument, and then there was the, um, oh, it was about the, oh yeah, don't think I'm not going to remember that when I'm taller than you. Basically what that is, it's Sora and Riku are in Wonderland, and Sora says something, and Riku, Sora's like, sounded good, right? You're not the only one who's grown through all this. And Riku's like, <laughs> that may be, but you're still kind of a half pint. And Sora goes, oh, what? Don't think I'm not going to remember that when I'm taller than you. And Riku's like, <laughs> I look forward to the day that happens. And the next moment that kind of tied it up, really, there's like three moments on the number one slot because they all came in a very close tie. This moment comes from Reaching of Memories. In Riku's story, um... When he finally sees Mickey, the real Mickey, for the first time, when Riku finally sees the real King Mickey for the very first time in a while, before he's given the Twilight Town card, he was Riku's testing Mickey to see if he's an illusion or if he's real. So he goes like this, and the king's like, Woo! <laughs> Tickles! <laughs> and that just gives Riku a sense of relief as to like, you know, you're you're here and you're not an illusion this time. But it, it, it's just funny that he did that and how he did that. It was just really hilarious. But anyway guys, this has been 10 more Funny Kingdom Hearts moments number 2. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments section below. And until the next video, I have been Riku Keyblade Master. And also, I want to mention one more thing before I go. My good friend, Gaming Gumbo LXT slash Anime Kage, if you have not seen his channel or his content yet, please go do so. Also, will you pretty, pretty please support him on Patreon? He is on Patreon. Just type in Gaming Gumbo, and you should find his Patreon page. So, if you guys would love to, if you guys love his work and want to see him succeed, I would head over to that page and lend him over some support. Also, head over to his channel and give him some subscriptions. I would very well appreciate it, and he would very well appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And remember, 
May your hearts be your guiding key.